gente vir aqui, Rex. Sim? Rex? 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 Ruka. Ruka. Vem cá. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I'm Shinkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and as for today we have a new video of the reviewing of the AMD Adrenaline Drivers, this time the 22.4.2 and as I say in all my videos, 22 is the year, 2022, 4 is the month, April and 2, yes, 2 is the revision in that same month, so the second revision of April. So yeah, let's go to the release notes. So the first thing is actually support for Vampire The Masquerade Blood Hunt, which was a game that was kind of in beta, I think, and it is now properly, properly released. I played it before in beta. It is properly released now and supported by the AMD Adrenaline Drivers. Nice. As for the fixed issues, we only have one, and it is display mode of 4K 120Hz may be missing on some FreeSync displays using some AMD graphics products such as the RX 5700XT, okay? This was a problem that some people actually uh, reported, uh, mostly in OLED, OLED, Portuguese was taking over, OLED displays, um, and it seems to be fixed, and it is actually the only fixed issue, and it is the only fixed issue because the next big driver will be the 22.5.1 instead of this one, uh, which will be where the new the new 6000 series cards, like for example the the um, 6750, 6850, and 6950 cards will be released. Okay, that's why the 22.5.1 will be the major update, and I don't even know why they released the 4.2. It's just like a placeholder. So yeah. As for known issues, we have more of the same. GPU utilization may be stuck at 100% in Raiden performance metrics after closing games on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden 570, so not fixed yet. Some users on Windows 10 operating system may observe the absence of Windows transparency arrow effect. Once again, in the known issues, it was supposedly fixed before, but then it came back to the known issues, so it wasn't. It wasn't. Display may flicker black while switching tabs between video playback and gameplay on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6700 XT. Using Raiden Super Resolution on 2560 per 1600 resolution displays may produce a system hang. A temporary workaround is to set the display scaling mode to full panel. Now we have the enhanced sync which doesn't, doesn't even deserve, deserve the, the time, it's a fucking meme. Also, the Raiden performance metrics and logging features may intermittently report extremely high and incorrect memory clock values, which is also a thing that is happening for some time, or at least is sitting here in the known issues for quite some time, alongside with the, with the enhanced sync, okay? Now as for my experience with these drivers. So I tested these drivers with three cards from across several generations, and uh, I have to say that these drivers are a no for me, just no, and due to several reasons. So for example, on the RX 580, we actually have lower temperatures and lower power draw, which is nice, at least in the games that I tested, but we also have lower FPS on PUBG. Why do I want lower power draw if I will also have lower FPS? It makes no sense. It's a bug from the driver version. I did a clean installation like I do all the time and it just did that, okay? And we have, although, the same FPS on Forza Horizon 5. As for the RX 6800, well, we have lower FPS on Cyberpunk 2077, and when I say lower, it's quite lower, not super, it's not a big difference, but it is definitely there, and shouldn't. It should be better, at least better. I, I'm, not, I'm not even asking for more, just at least as good as the previous drivers. And it isn't, so the recommended drivers are still faster in Cyberpunk 2077 and still with the 6800 we have the same FPS on Far Cry 6, okay? 
Now as for the RX 5700 XT with a 12600K, now we have some interesting results. We have a broken fan profile once again, so the fans will just ramp up to their max independently of the, the percentage that I choose in the Raiden software, okay? It's, it's a fucking dumb bug, it happens in some driver versions and in this one it, it is even worse, okay? Then we have the software randomly closing on the 5700 XT as well, so another annoying bug, so this already makes it a big no for the 5700 XT users. And then we have more FPS in Cyberpunk 2077. I don't know why, but the only thing that I can think of is that smart access memory isn't actually working properly with the 22.3.1 drivers on the 5700 XT, at least on Cyberpunk, and as soon as you go to the 22.4.2 with smart access memory as well, it will just use it properly and will increase the performance by quite a bit. That's... Um, that's my idea on that because I don't see how the performance difference could be so big if it wasn't for Sam working properly or not, okay? And we also have a bit more FPS in Rainbow Six Siege, okay? Not by much, just a, a really small percentage, but still more FPS. Like I told you, well, the RX 580, no. The RX 6800, no. And the RX 5700 XT, mm. So we have more FPS but we have the, the fan profile and the random closes on the Raiden software, which is a no for me. So if you want better performance, but you don't want to use the 22.3.1, you can use the 22.3.2 that are pretty good drivers for me, or the 22.2.3, which are perfectly fine in all my cards, and I repeat, all my cards. You should try them. So guys, that's all for today's video. This is my two, these, these, are my two cents uh, on the 22.2.4.2 uh, drivers, Jesus Christ. Ooh. Hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video because that really helps a lot and helps this channel and helps me, of course. Uh, also, leave your comment in the comment section, let me know what you think and what is your experience and with which, um, with which GPU because that's why I make these videos for us to share our experiences and kind of help AMD to improve as well. That's one of the things that I like to do. One of the reasons why I like to do these videos, okay? Uh, thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Leave you with the side-by-side -side comparisons of the RX 580, the 6800 and the 5700 XT, okay? See you in the next one.
Let me take that weapon straight to the head. 